Hey, it's Paul, and we're taking a quick look at Allo, the new messaging app from Google. It's designed to reduce your need to leave the app by bringing a new level of communication and interaction with it. Allo uses your phone number like WhatsApp to establish the account and populate your contacts. Inside the settings menu, you'll have your standard options such as notifications, blocked contacts, and so on. And you'll also have the ability to unregister your phone number if you don't want to use Allo anymore. Once set up, use is easy with various options and features. Chat is your standard one-on-one -on -one service like any other messenger. However, it's inside the chat where things can be customized. You can scale your text from a yell to a whisper simply by holding down the enter button and sliding on the button either up or down to adjust the size you are looking for. There is also the ability to add stickers, emojis, and photos. Photos can also be modified with the ink feature. Like most modern messaging apps, Allo will let you know when a message has been sent, received, and read. A white background arrow means the message has been sent. A green background arrow means the phone received the message, and the double arrow means the other person read the message that you sent. When you send a text message to someone not using Allo, a random five digit number will appear. It will also let the receiver know you are using Allo and invite them to download the app. The app is available for Android and iOS. Arguably, the biggest feature is Google Assistant, which is an in-app extension of Google Now. Google Assistant Preview lets you learn how to use Google Assistant and allows it to learn more about you. Furthermore, with Google Assistant, there is no need to leave the app or your current conversation to find out information you may be looking for, such as movie times, restaurants, directions, sports, and so on. Google Assistant has a lot of options and abilities at the ready to help you keep your conversation going. To get Google's help, simply place the at Google in front of your question. Google Assistant is also conversational, so you can ask additional questions about the same subject and Google will understand and keep the conversation going in the proper context. After using Google Assistant, you will see a thumbs up and thumbs down response option. This is to let Google know if the assistant provided you with the proper information and or performed correctly. If you pick thumbs down, Google will ask for feedback so you can explain what went wrong or what you didn't like about the experience. This feedback is optional. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, Google Assistant can learn about you from your favorite foods, activities, sports teams, and so on to help provide options and information that may be of better use or interest to you. Google Assistant also learns your texting patterns and will help you text less by having automatic responses or questions available. And finally, we have incognito mode. This allows you to chat with someone using phone-to-phone -phone encryption. Conversations in incognito mode are not stored on Google servers. The length of time the conversation remains accessible before it is permanently deleted is adjustable. You will know you are using incognito mode by a few ways. First, the chat background will be gray instead of white and on the main menu an incognito face will appear on the profile picture of the person you are conversing with. Google Assistant is also disabled while in incognito mode. Take note that normal chats will remain stored on Google servers until you delete them. Overall, Allo is a neat messaging app with the potential to be the best messaging app to date. Google Assistant is a nice feature baked in, and since it's in the preview edition, we know more is on the way. There are still bugs to work out, and that will come with patches from Google and usage from Allo users as it learns. I'll keep an eye out on it and future updates to see how it improves. Overall, my experience with Allo has been good so far, now we just have to see if it becomes a popular messaging app. Let me know in the comments below if you have downloaded Allo and what has your experience been like so far. What changes or improvements would you like to see? As always, if you found this video helpful as I hope you did, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.